Hey guys, what's going on? Anna Marie here with Mark. And today we're going to be talking about the upgradability as well as the usability of the Alienware Alpha console. Yeah. Now, we've gotten a lot of questions online about upgrading the system, and I know previously we talked about it's an open, open platform. Can you tell us a little bit about what we can actually do with the console? Yeah, so, um, you know, what I meant before about open, open is um, our software is open and so is our platform, meaning you can get into it. And all you really need to do that is a screwdriver. So um, again, the Alpha was designed, uh, of course, to be an Alienware product, and we want users to be able to get in and upgrade the product if they so choose. Um, now, if they don't, that's fine too, uh, uh, but a lot of our users really like to get inside the product. So it's super easy. Um, when you flip the Alpha over, there's four screws. There's a screw here, 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 and here. Um, and all you need is a standard Phillips screwdriver to get in. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here and we're gonna unscrew these little screws that are in here and we're gonna pop the top of this guy open. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna remove our fourth and final screw of the Alpha unit. Um, you're going to feel some unlatching that happens here and then the bottom plate is removed as such. It's really as easy as that. Um, put the unit top side up. You're gonna take the top shell off. And just like that, you have access to the inside of the Alpha system. So here's the front. You can see by the uh, triangle here in the corner. And then here's really the, the guts of the unit. Um, right here, we have our heatsink shroud for the CPU. And over here, we have our heatsink shroud for the GPU. They're super easy to get into. As you can see, there's two arrows here basically going this way. All you have to do is pinch this in the center, and off comes the, the shroud, the heatsink shroud. Um, once the CPU heatsink shroud is removed, you can see the heatsink for the CPU here. Replacing and upgrading the CPU is a snap. You just really want to unscrew these four bolts right here. Pop the heatsink off, and the CPU, again, is an Intel fourth generation Core i3 CPU. So in the Alpha, we use the latest and greatest, unlike the next gen consoles that are out there in the market. Um, so this CPU is definitely great for gaming, super easy to upgrade, as you can see. Uh, in the alpha very quickly. You don't need any tools to remove this excellent heatsink shroud, so we're just gonna move it off to the side there. Right here, you can see the memory. This system is DDR3 rated. It'll support up to 16 gigabytes of DDR3, and this memory is rated at a speed of 1600 megahertz. So there's two, um, there's two DIMM slots here for the memory. Removing the memory is easy as well. You're just going to un un unlatch them from here. Uh, it'll pop it open. You just slide it out like that, and then you can replace it with memory. Um, that you find in the market. This is mobile-based memory, so you definitely want to make sure that you're getting the right memory before you go out there and buy it. So over here, we have our GPU heat sink shroud, and we're going to remove it the same way we did our CPU heat sink shroud, and it's connected right up there. Again, really easy to take apart. Uh, the GPU that's in this system is based on NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture. So Alienware, we worked with NVIDIA on developing a custom solution for this box. It is, it is rated uh, um, uh, to be put in a thermal package that's this small. So as you, can, as you guys can see, um, what, what, what sort of space we're working with here, it is very compact and small. This motherboard is not standard rated, meaning uh, we developed the motherboard, we developed the design, so you can't find something like this off the shelf. Um, the GPU is, of course, um, focused around, like I said, Maxwell, and there's certain benefits to the Maxwell architecture, those being, of course, improved balance workloading, um, a boost in I IPC frequency, and of course, logic partitioning that's happened, happening on the die itself. Um, what users can expect really out of Maxwell, the, the most um, or the biggest performance that, uh, improvement they can expect is a best in class performance per watt story. So no other GPU on the planet is going to give you the per wattage horsepower that you will find um, in the Maxwell architecture. Um, and then last but not least right here, we have our Intel wireless adapter. This is a .ac wireless adapter. So um, when we design this product, we know that there's certain streaming functionalities that we want people to be uh, uh, aware of and we certainly want them to take advantage of. So if they're looking at doing a lot of streaming to this box, um, we definitely recommend that you pair this wireless AC um, uh, connection point with an AC router to maximize your streaming. All right, when you're ready to put your alpha unit together, it's super simple. Um, you're just going to align your heatsink shrouds again. So we'll first mount the GPU heatsink in there. You're gonna hear a little snap to let you know it's nice and snug in its place. And then over here, we'll now replace the CPU heatsink shroud. 
Um, again, you're looking for that little snap. Now it's in place. Um, grabbing the unit for a second here, we're going to find the triangle here that's in the corner. Um, and then here is our, here is our bottom plate. Uh, we're going to align triangle to triangle. Pretty simple. I'm um, going to put it in like that. Uh, we are going to then mount our top cover to the unit. You're going to hear some clicking and snapping as the system basically gets put back in its place. Then you're going to flop it over um, and connect our four screws in the corners, and that's it. The alpha unit is back together.